hello friends i welcome you in lecture number 20 on vector calculus in previous two lectures we have discussed about two different forms of green's theorem in this lecture we are going to discuss how to evaluate line integral using green's theorem so if we recall uh, we have discussed two different forms of green's theorem one form we call as tangential form of Green's theorem and another form is known as normal form of Green's theorem and suppose our vector field is given by f bar equal to m i plus n j for both of these tangential as well as normal form suppose f bar is a two dimensional vector field suppose we have some closed curve C which encloses some region R in the XY plane. Then if we are interested in the line integral of this vector field F bar along this curve C then we have two different forms. If we have tangential form then we will write here m dx plus n dy and if we have normal form then here we have m dy minus n dx and both of these are equal to double integral here we will consider double integral over region r of the difference of these two partial derivatives partial derivative of n with respect to x minus partial derivative of m with respect to y and we will obtain double integral over region r. Here we will consider divergence of vector field f bar which is del m by del x plus del n by del y and this is also double integral over region r dA. So either we use this form or this form the value of line integral will be same but we have to decide what is our m and what is our n by comparing given integral with uh, either this one or either this one whatever form we want to use. But we will remember that whenever we are asked to find out circulation of a vector field uh, we will use tangential form and if we are asked to find out outward flux of a vector field f bar then we will use normal form but if physical interpretation is not asked and if they ask you to evaluate the line integral only then either you can use tangential form or normal form in this lecture we will discuss one line integral using tangential as well as normal form and we will see that we will get same answer either we go by using tangential or if we use normal form. So we discuss this example evaluate the integral xy dy minus y square dx along curve c where c is the square cut from the first quadrant by the lines x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. So first we sketch this curve c and uh, we also sketch the region enclosed by curve c so we will consider xy plane suppose this is xy plane this is x axis and uh, we have to consider line x equal to 1 suppose this much distance is 1 then this is the line x equal to 1 parallel to y axis and the line y equal to 1 is also uh, horizontal line that is line parallel to x axis so this is uh, x axis and uh, here we have y axis and these two lines so let me sketch properly this is x axis this is y axis this is the line x equal to 1 this is line y equal to 1 here we have origin and we have to consider the uh, curve C as the square cut from the first quadrant by the lines x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. So if you consider 
these two lines x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 then we will obtain this uh, square you can see this is the square in the first quadrant and uh, it is the uh, it is the square cut from the first quadrant by the lines x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 and we will require the region whose boundary is this curve c so remember this is the region r enclosed by this curve c our curve c is the square cut from the first quadrant by the lines x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 and uh, we can see this is the region in the first quadrant and uh, here this line is y equal to 1 and this line is x equal to 1 and uh, this is the square in the first quadrant so our curve c is piecewise smooth curve it is the union of four line segments so if i want to evaluate line integral then i have to consider line integral along this curve c as the sum of four line integrals along these four different line segments line segment from 0 0 to 1 0 then from 1 0 to 1 1 then 1 1 to 0 1 and 0 1 to 0 0 so if we denote all these line segments by c1 c2 c3 and c4 then line integral along curve c will be equal to sum of line integrals along c1 c2 c3 and c4 so that will be a lengthy work as compared to the work which we will do using green's theorem and at last you will observe that how green's theorem is helpful to us in the evaluation of line integrals here it is not specified that use green's theorem but we can see our curve c is the union of four different smooth curves so the uh, curve c has different equations in different parts if we consider this part uh, x axis along x axis uh, we have different equation that is y equal to 0 then along this part the equation is x equal to 1 along this part equation is y equal to 1 and equation of this curve which is along y axis is x equal to 0 so we have to use line integral along each of these four different line segments and then we have to add them up but if we go by using green's theorem uh, it will take very less time as compared to the integral along this uh, curve c and our region of integration r which we will use for double integral is a rectangular region or because it is a square uh, the limits of integration will be constant so that will also be an easy double integral so first we uh, use tangential form of green's theorem and we will do the same line integral using normal form also so first we are doing this uh, problem using tangential form of Green's theorem. So here I am writing using tangential form and uh, we recall for tangential form uh, we have to keep in mind this thing if we have m dx plus n dy along closed path c then this is equal to double integral of del n by del x minus del m by del y over region r so first we compare given integral with m dx plus n dy if we compare this integral uh, with integral of m dx plus n dy then we observe that m will be equal to minus y square and n is equal to x into y so we will consider m equal to uh, we first consider let capital m equal to what is m m is coefficient of dx here coefficient of dx is minus y square and n is coefficient of dy 
which is x y so we take m equal to minus y square and n equal to x into y and uh, we will require partial derivative of m with respect to y uh, which is equal to minus 2y and uh, we will require partial derivative of n with respect to x so y is constant derivative of x is 1 and uh, we will require the difference of del n by del x and del m by del y del n by del x minus del m by del y equal to y minus minus 2y that is y plus 2y which is 3y so we have this quantity is 3 into y that we have to integrate over this uh, rectangular region which is a square so for double integral uh, we know that if we have a rectangular region then limits of x and y are constant and here we can see x lies between 0 and 1 and y also lies between 0 and 1 so limits of integration are constant and uh, here conditions for applying Green's theorems Green's theorem are satisfied we can see that this m and n are polynomial functions therefore their first order partial derivatives are always continuous on this region which is a square and this c curve c is a piecewise smooth positively oriented and simple closed curve therefore we can apply green's theorem now by green's theorem by green's theorem our integral is uh, we are using this uh, form tangential form so first we write integral of along curve c which is a square m dx plus n dy will be equal to double integral over r del n by del x minus del m by del y and uh, here limits are constant so uh, either we integrate with respect to y or with respect to x there will not be much difference now we substitute values of m and n this quantity which we have obtained so m is minus y square and n is x y so here we have minus y square dx plus x y dy and let me check whether we obtain this or not okay so we have x y dy minus y square dx so this m and n uh, we are using here and uh, this is equal to double integral now we are integrating with respect to y first and then with respect to x but limits of x and y both are from 0 to 1 so here we write first we write limits of y and then limits of x both are from 0 to 1 and uh, this difference del n by del x minus del m by del y is 3y so we substitute that value here and uh, now we have to integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x and uh, this left hand side we can rewrite as xy dy minus y square dx along curve c this is equal to first we integrate with respect to y integral of 3y with respect to y is 3 times y square by 2 limits of y are from 0 to 1 then we will integrate with respect to x before that we substitute upper and lower limits for y upper limit for y is 1 so we have 3 into 1 square that is 3 divided by 2 minus 0 and then integral with respect to x 3 by 2 is constant and we have integral of 1 with respect to x and integral of 1 with respect to x is x limits of x are from 0 to 1 and finally we obtain this is as 3 by 2 1 minus 0 so we can see that line integral has value 3 by 2 so you can compare 
if you have uh, done this using definition of line integral then you have to use parametric representation for each of these uh, four different boundaries and then you have to find out integral line integral along each of these four different line segments and then you have to take their addition but with the help of Green's theorem uh, we are uh, able to this very fast and we have seen that value of integral is 3 by 2 so therefore integral x y dy minus y square dx along the square has value 3 by 2 using Green's theorem in tangential form we have obtained this line integral using Green's theorem in tangential form now we obtain again same line integral using normal form and we will see that uh, we will have the same value for given line integral now we are doing the same problem using normal form of Green's theorem so we must be clear about both the forms and we should recall both the forms so for normal form we recall that our integral is in this form m dy minus n dx integral over closed path c this is equal to divergence of given vector field that is partial derivative of m with respect to x plus partial derivative of n with respect to y and uh, there is double integral with respect to x and y over region r so now we compare our integral with m dy minus n dx and we see what we have to take as m and as n so now we compare this integral with m dy minus n dx m dy minus n dx and we find that now we will have to take m equal to x into y this is m if we compare coefficient of dy is m and coefficient of dx is n and here we have negative sign so minus y square equal to minus n that is n equal to y square so now i have to take m equal to xy and n equal to y square m equal to x into y and n equal to y square let m equal to x into y n equal to y square and uh, we will require partial derivative of m with respect to x then del m by del x is equal to y y is constant derivative of x is 1 and uh, we will require partial derivative of n with respect to y that is 2y and if we add this 2 we require del m by del x plus del n by del y then we will obtain 3y therefore del m by del x plus del n by del y equal to y plus 2y that is 3y and now by Green's theorem this is equal to double integral of 3y over region r and we can see we obtain the same integral which we have obtained here the double integral is same integral of 3y with respect to y and x so now answer must be same so we should write in the next step that now by Green's theorem in normal form so here we are writing by Green's theorem in normal form first we are writing the expression for Green's theorem in normal form and we should remember this here we have m dy minus n dx along closed path c this is equal to double integral over r partial derivative of m with respect to x plus partial derivative of n with respect to y and uh, we will integrate with respect to y first and then with respect to x if we wish we can reverse the order also here we have a square so no problem either we integrate with respect to x first 
or with respect to y. Therefore, now we put values of m and n. What is our m? m is x y and n is y square. So here I have x y d y minus y square d x. This is equal to double integral. Limits of x are also from zero to one. Limits of y are also from zero to one. Del m by del x plus del n by del y is three times y. That we substitute here. Three times y. First we integrate now with respect to x and then with respect to y. And uh, now we can see this is y is having limits from zero to one. Three y constant. Integration of dx is x. Limits of integral are from x equal to zero to x equal to one. Then we have to integrate with respect to y. This is now y is from zero to one. We put x equal to one, and we have three y into one. That is three y minus x equal to zero will give lower limit equal to zero. And uh, finally, we consider three constant. Integral of y is y square by two. Limits of y are from zero to one. And if we take upper limit, we will have three by two times one square minus. For lower limit, we have zero, and we can see value of given line integral is three by two. Here we write x y d y minus y square d x along given square, which is a square in the first quadrant. So either I am using normal form of Green's theorem or tangential form of Green's theorem. Value of this line integral is same. So that is your choice which form you want to use. If nothing is specified in the question, you can use your choice. Either you can use normal form or tangential form. But you must remember both the forms. This is the tangential form in which we have m dx plus n dy line integral of m dx plus n dy equal to double integral of del n by del x minus del m by del y. And if we want to use normal form, our uh, integral is m dy minus n dx equal to del m by del x plus del n by del y. So whatever form you want to use, you have to compare your line integral with this part if you want to use normal form you have to consider this form m dy minus n dx compare your integral with m dy minus n dx if you want to use tangential form compare your integral with m dx plus n dy so be careful if you want to use tangential form compare your integral with m dx plus n dy like here we have done that thing first we compare given integral with m dx plus n dy if we compare this with m dx plus n dy we find that m equal to minus y square and n equal to x into y so for tangential form we consider m equal to minus y square n equal to x y by comparing given integral with m dx plus n dy but for normal form we consider different m and n here we take m equal to x into y n equal to y square because here we have to compare with m dy minus n dx here m is x y n is y square we have taken here m is minus y square n is x into y so depending upon the requirement if we want to use tangential form we will compare given line integral with line integral of m dx plus n dy if we want to use normal form we will compare our line integral with m dy minus n dx and uh, the right hand side is same we are getting the line integral of 3y either we use tangential form or normal form so in this way green's theorem is very much helpful in evaluating some complicated line integrals or lengthy line integrals so you if you wish you can compute this line integral 
by taking line integral along each of these four line segments and then take uh, addition of all those line integrals and uh, you can compare your method with uh, this method green's theorem which we have applied and you will see that you require very less time as compared to the evaluation of line integral by definition but what is the limitation of green's theorem is that we can apply green's theorem if we have closed path and uh, we have other restrictions also that is path is simple path is piecewise smooth and so on but if our path is not closed we cannot apply green's theorem so if it is not specified in the question and if you feel if you find that the line integral is given along closed path and if you feel that uh, your line integral will be having uh, lengthy if you calculations in the line integral by definition will be lengthy then you can convert your line integral into double integral using green's theorem and uh, you can compare with uh, your line integral answer and double integral answer and you will find that using double integral uh, we are getting our answer within a few minutes so here in this session we have discussed this line integral using green's theorem uh, in tangential form as well as normal form and we obtain the same answer 3 by 2 by using both the forms so remember this important result in upcoming lectures we will discuss some more problems of uh, green's theorem thanks for watching